We are back with the One Piece anime. It's been far too long, but I was like, you know what, man? We are approaching a milestone in episode 1100, and I've got to be here for that, no matter what. No matter what. So I was like, I don't care if I have to watch one episode a night, two episodes a night until we get caught up. We are going to be caught up for episode 1100, all right? Whether we do it on Saturday or Sunday, it doesn't matter. We're going to be here for that 1100 greatness at some point. So I, I, I was like, man, I can't miss out on that. That's a milestone episode, all right? It's a milestone episode. And so, ladies and gentlemen, we are here for episode 1094 and I believe 1095. I really want to do both of them. And uh, hey, man, listen, maybe even 1096. We'll see. We'll see. I can't wait. I'm so excited to get back on uh, to watching some greatness. I've been really missing it, especially since there's been no manga. I've been feeling the itch for some One Piece greatness. So I was like, you know what? I gotta watch the anime, man. I gotta get caught up again. I'm slacking. So let's get right into it. In three, two, one, let's jam. One, two, three, four, five. Egghead, man, let's go. I haven't watched the, the opening in a while, so this is gonna feel good. Dude, it's, it's always wild during these break weeks, right? But specifically in the past couple of years through the month long breaks, uh, you feel it a lot more, right? And some more than others. Uh, last month break, I was preparing for the Reverie, so it went by really, really quick. Uh, through this one, I've been occupied with a lot of uh, school stuff because graduation's right around the corner, and you already know how that is with like midterms and finals. Yeah, it's been super, super sweaty on that uh, on that end of things, but I've had Final Fantasy uh, to help relieve the stress. But um, but even in the background of all of that, I was like, man, I really miss talking about One Piece, bro. Like. I can't even tell you the amount of times I wanted to just come on here and make a YouTube video talking about Egghead and in all of the greatness. And, uh, but here we are. And like I said, I, I'm so excited to be back on the anime. Um, the One Piece 24-7 channel that shows uh, uh, you know, the episodes up until Dressrosa. Every time I tune into that, uh, whenever I get the chance, I'm like, man, I've really got to catch back up to the greatness. Like, <laughs> I have to catch back up, bro. I miss it too much. I think we haven't seen anything um, from the anime adaptation side of, of things so uh, excited to see what they've had they've been cooking for us for the past couple of weeks considering the content right so let's see what we've got he's wearing egghead dude this is where we left off Law vs. Blackbeard was nuts. It was insane. Oh yeah, they never finished that chapter, right? Chapter 1064. Okay, Jimmy. Man lives in a controller the size of my house with ease. Cause he's him. Him bay. Kid me. Stop, stop, man. We can't do this already. Stop. Mm, 
Tay Jim Bay. Let's go. They're showing. It, it, it showed the the um, the aging process. Can't wait to see Chopper. He looks so ridiculous, dude. <laughs> Still looks fire, though. Hi, Yuki. You know, the king in his 80s still gonna be doing his thing. Undoubtedly. <laughs> Man, face to the wall. You guys remember that movie Robots? From like the mid 2000s? Every time I see some of these robots here in Egghead, it just reminds me of that movie. Great movie. Great movie. I haven't watched it in years, but I remember really enjoying it when I was younger. The panel. 70. It was 70. I said 80. 70. Look at Chopper. Chopper. <laughs> Chopper looks so out of it, dude. What an image. A tyrant. Kuma the tyrant. Lightsaber. <laughs> we can totally see Luffy doing that at 72. That lightsaber, man.
Yee. The art there. <laughs> Never change. So we got it from both sides. Did I rock with those eye catchers so much, man? They're so good, dude. True that. Lilith's voice is great, man. Great. I like this as like the egghead main theme. It works for me. It's such a cool image. Flying fish, a Godzilla and King Kong. Go ahead, though. It looks so cool in the anime, man. I, mean, I love the way it looks in the manga. But just seeing it to life like this. He always is. <laughs> For real. Robin's like, yeah, that's, that's, that sounds like the norm to me. That sounds like the king to me. Two swordsmen looking after the ship. Gotta love Zoro, dude. Sanji's, meanwhile, Sanji's like, hey, I'll take advantage, you know what I mean? I'm good. We good. That does look really comfortable, man. <laughs> that man is wild, bro. <laughs> Nami utilizing Conqueror's coding. Just like in the chapter 1058 adaptation. It's gotta feel weird having yeet. <laughs> Bro, Robin's sense of humor is what? Oh, <coughs> it always catches me off guard. I genuinely lo lo love the way that Frankie looks. It looks like so 
out of uh, out of something from like an Astro Boy cartoon or something. It's super super cool. That's right. Of course, Nami and Robin always looking a one. Sanji with the Hawaiian fit though. Both him and Jinbei rocking the Hawaiian fit. It's like that. That'll always be futuristic. Caribou, dude. I always forget this man is a character, bro. Leo, thanks for helping us. Now get out of here. That is wild, right? Like, just thinking about come out, coming from their era and, and they're like, man, the stairs are moving. Like, this is insane. Just imagine that. It would feel like you went forward in time a bunch of years into the future. Kind of like how quick technology advanced in our age, honestly. I like the soundtrack. Very egghead. See, that would make me lose my mind too. Like, like do, do I feel all right passing through that thing? Don't be fooled by what you see. Thriller bark shenanigans. <laughs> yeah, it is. Thank you for the sober analysis, right? Oh, man. The stop's like, yo, don't, no, don't leave me behind. For Robin, this stuff has to be extremely fascinating, right? Considering it's a good voice. I didn't even realize that earlier. Never Edison contacted that uh, Lilith. Every time I see a hallway like this, reminds me of Punk Cat. And it's serving like as a, a GPS in the car. In 0 0.3 miles, turn left. <laughs> this is both, but it worries to me. Yeet! Usopp got hit with a straight up AJ Styles kick. Ah! Mmm. Oh man, this is gonna be our first look. Hmm. 
immediately into the Fishman Karate stance. Imagine seeing all of that, and then he fires a laser out of his palm. I'd be shook. Shaka. Let's go, my boy. And dragon. God, man, great voice. Oh yeah, that's right. Let me see the ending. I love the I love this ending. It's still wild to me we have endings in the one piece of anime again, bro. Like, it's crazy. Man, good episode. Very much enjoyed the uh, the sequences that were added here as well as uh, the soundtracks, man, just seeing all this stuff brought to life is so cool. Uh, they adapted the rest of 1064, so I'm going to assume next episode. It's going to because it's going to cover 1065, which means we're close to 1066. Oh, but this arc is just so good. Bro. This is banger, banger, banger. Looking forward to seeing how they handle that stuff for sure. God, I love this ending, man. Should do, yep, the after show. Dun, 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 dun. Kuma, oh, I'm turning it off. Oh no! Oh no! Stop it now, Goku! You know what? I'm just gonna talk through this. I can't. I can't. I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very excited to watch the next episode of One Piece. I am trying not to look at this preview, or it's not even a preview. It's a recap, but this recap is hurting me. So it's like I, I can't. I can't look at it. No. 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 We're not. We, we reviews. It is not going to happen. We will not be there. Stop it. Stop it. No. 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 Stop! 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 I, I can I can still understand because I've watched Wumpy so many times. I kind of understand what they're saying. Oh no! Okay, stop it! Thank God. Next episode. We're we're, we're continuing. We're just gonna continue. We're just gonna continue. We are back with episode ten ninety five. In three, two, one. Let's jam. One, two. Three, four, five. It's always nice when we have episodes to binge watch like this. It makes it feel like the good old days. Honestly, I mean, maybe it's because I didn't have as many episodes to binge. Um, but like I always uh, bring up, I, I actually personally prefer the One Piece weekly experience over the binging experience. Um, I don't know. That's probably wild to say, because the binging experience was generational. It's just nothing compares to experiencing the series weekly. And maybe it is due to the experiences I've had with within our community, right? But I genuinely believe it's just it's, it's just the greatest thing ever. Like, like I said, as much as I enjoyed the binge... And as much as I know a lot of this stuff will probably hurt, uh, like hit even harder on binge, 
that weekly experience, man. Especially for stuff like this, for where we've been after the past couple years, it's truly been on a different level, man. I wouldn't have it in any other way. God, man, this opening is so good, dude. This opening is genuinely unbelievable. Like, how does it exist? This part right here is so good. Recap, my boy. Immediately going over to Jinbei. Man went to firing a laser out of his palm. Hmm, cool transition. Bega Panku. Holy flag nards. Whoa! Look at that explosion! Whoa, the art! Okay, alright, alright. Okay, <laughs> they turned up. They turned up. <laughs> they turned up for this one. I can already tell right off the bat with how good the art looks. Like, I feel so bad for them because imagine having to find another straw hat. It's the worst part about him. the vein Ooh. oh my god the art and Frankie's immediately gonna be like wait a minute I just rewatched this in the in the uh, dresser in the dresser's uh, one piece 24 7 channel it's New York Pink and Frankie Art! Sugoi, Sugoi.
Right in the headlock. They use a laser. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's a great uh, font for Edison. Dude, the way she made him off the floor like it was the Undertaker. <laughs> Eureka! Pythagoras! Always love this design. Dude, this episode has started off with such a bang that I was not expecting. I was not expecting the Straw Hats versus Jim Bay or versus uh, the S Shark to be looking like this, man. Goodness. I know how that feels. Atlas. Your good. Great fun. I can see it. I, I need to hear some more lines. York's like, I gotcha. 
<laughs> you're not say that twice. It even shows the transmission of energy. That's really cool. That's really cool. Both of them felt that. Goodness. A lot of burgers. Bread, hot dogs, donuts, pizza. <laughs> Got the chopper uh chopper thing going there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, they all feeling that one. So stupid, dude. Yee. Wow, they did a great job with that panel. Okay, I can see it. Uh, like, the more I hear the voice, the more I'm starting to vibe with the chalk. Baby! There's my guy. Instant. 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 Shaka, my boy, man.
<laughs> Maybe I'm being a punk too. Oh shoot. Here we go. Here we go, dude! What does he even look like, man? Such a crazy reveal. I have chills, bro. Look at my mind! <laughs> Insane, man. Look at the moss, the rust. Iron Giant, dude. You know, remembering how it felt when those chapters were dropping, it really was just... God, man. <laughs> this arc. This flipping arc, dude. Hold up, what time is it, man? I want to watch another episode. I think we might be good. Yeah, dude. I might have to watch another episode. I might have to watch another episode. You feel me? Do good. Because it's just like, man. You know how huge of a real build, of, of a reveal that is. That the place that we've been all looking forward to finding out more about, right? The Void Sentry, the the Ancient Kingdom, and the things that come from that time. It's like, man, to know that there was an advanced civilization like Egghead all of those years ago, people are producing even a giant of that, uh, of, of that caliber. It's like, what were they rocking with back then? It just makes you think about the ancient weapons, right? It's like, that's the reason why we haven't seen all of them. Because they would have given that away. My boy!
Oh, today. Today's Jimmy's birthday. Legendary episodes. One of the best moments. Another phenomenal moment. Jim being whole cake man, that man was cooking. Cooking at the highest level. The return in Mono. Dude, Ken and Lauer shook. Like, he's a part of the Straw Hats too? Me too. Good. It's too good, man. Like, come on, bro. We are back with some more egghead greatness, starting off with episode 1096. We left off with two really good ones uh, last time. I especially like the the additions to the Straw Hats versus uh, the S Shark battle. I thought that was really, really cool. Uh, but without further ado, let's get right into it. Um, exciting stuff here. Let's see how they handle all this material. In three, two, one, let's jam. One, two, three, four, five. Man, dude, <clears throat> my original plan was to be caught up to this, uh, caught back up to the One Piece anime. Uh, by the time 1100 dropped, that did not happen. <laughs> uh, due to collaborations, uh, I'm taking up most of my recording time. Uh, that did most certainly did not happen. Um, but I had so much fun on those uh, that I, I wouldn't, I, I don't regret it in the slightest, to say the least. Um, so like, I, I missed out on the 1100 greatness, uh, but I'm looking forward to seeing what took place within that episode, uh, but whenever we get to it. All I know is that it was a banger because uh, of the amount of requests that I've gotten to react to the episode. And to everybody who's watching this in the future, I apologize uh, for the wait. <clears throat> but we're here now, man. I highly doubt I'm getting to 1100 tonight. I'm only planning on watching two episodes uh, because it already is late. But I was like, bro, I gotta watch some greatness tonight, man. I have to watch some greatness. Mm-hmm. Ishitani, man. What an opening. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Such a great soundtrack. I most certainly would, man. I was talking about it uh, for quite some time. Like, what What about if that was a possibility? Especially once I found out about the Roger Laugh thing. But to know that it's actually a reality. Like, that's so cool, dude. Especially in the One Piece world.
to confirm that after so many years for Robin. Oh man, I love this. The picks, oh, this is so cool. They made an SNES game. Wow, that was a really cool representation. They're really leaning into this. Dude, that is so cool. Like, yo, why are you telling us? <laughs> Usopp's like, man, I've been screwed. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> the cartoon effects. exactly right. It's the way I look at it. And the detail on the facial expression. Oh man, this is so cool, dude. Wow. Oh man, they're actually showing it. That's so dope. This is still one of the all-time greatest flashback moments. Insane. It's like, what, an, what interesting architecture for a futuristic city, or civilization, I should say.
existence and ideology. Like, man, with context, this stuff hits so, so different. Is that who I think it is? Is that my boy Dr. Recon Punk? Look at him. Look at him. Oh man, I love this soundtrack. through that. History is the treasure of the maker. So, yeah, that's so beautiful. Flag nards, man. Wow. Music, bro. Stop. Stop, man. Dragon. <laughs> Dude.
Dude, this episode has been sensational. Here's a medal. They're so stupid, bro. Dude, look at the art. Such idiots, man. <laughs> Everyone else gets such a great name. Love how Chopper believes in it. Is that let's just keep calling it names? Trumpo Top. Trumpo Ace. <laughs> Mm, interesting. So this is what we saw in them. Mm. So that was the kind of effect that it gave off, or that it was supposed to give off. Oh, that's a great voice. Oh, that's such a good voice for Vegapunk, dude. You're just like anyone. I love us the first thing that came to mind. Hey man, he misses his buddies. This looks nuts. This is the 
those that look so fluid and like wow. <laughs> it's gonna be the coolest thing in the world, the Luffy and Chopper. Like one hundred and ten percent. aspects of that chapter and they still haven't adapted all of the material which is really interesting so I'm going to assume they're going to leave some of that stuff for the next uh, episode um, but wow some of the transitions the art how fluid everything felt the music choice great stuff across the board man seriously great great stuff across the board absolute greatest dude you know what bro i'm sorry i might have to skip the ending today i want to watch another episode we're watching another episode we're watching another i never skip openings or endings that's just how you know that the latest episode was a banger dude like a straight up solidified certified banger let's get right into it episode 297 three two one let's jam one two three four Let's flipping go, dude. I'm looking forward to seeing how they uh, handle the rest of the 1066 material. But man, I was so impressed. Excuse me, mainly by the presentation of last episode. I just thought it looked great. Like, top to bottom. There was so many little moments. Like, Luffy and Chopper playing around on the Iron Giant. Or Usopp uh, doing his little Gear 5 thing. Yeah, you know, with uh, constantly going back and forth on the floor. I just thought it was magnificent how they balanced that along with the emotional stuff in Robin's flashback, which a lot of that stuff like looked like it was reanimated. You know, I'd have to compare it to what we got in, in Wano. It's been a while since I've watched, what was it, episode 1044? 1044, I think it was, for the Robin Black Maria stuff. I haven't watched that in a while. But I think this was unique to Egghead's art style. Uh, so it just looked fantastic. Um, and then the, tr the seamless transition from seeing that over to uh, Robin's Tears was just like, what are we doing? This is insane. This looks incredible. Um, so yeah, man, great stuff. Egghead has been off to an extremely strong start. Uh, just as strong as Wano, honestly, uh, with how good the opening episodes are from an adaptation standpoint. It's honestly insane. Uh, how they've managed to keep up this level of quality uh, for such a long time. You know, Wano started in the anime in 2019. Uh, so they've been going at it pretty hard for the last five years. <sighs> no recap. brown hair recon punk himself
Look at the aura. <sighs> Yo, dragon, man. <laughs> okay, look, look at how raw he looks, bro. Love this soundtrack. Freedom Fighters. Love the use of the wind here as a sound effect. Let me go, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Such a good OST. What the dragon, dude? Oh, man, Ivanka looking great. My boy, man. My little boy. <laughs> this is beat. What an awesome scene. Nami understands. <laughs> Me too, Frankie. Oh, they're showing it. <laughs> it's 
messed up, dude. Each hero owed a bit. Doug hits the home, bro. It does. It really, really does, bro. It's someone who suffered so much misfortune to have lost everyone and now have a gl just a glimmer of hope that someone that she loves so much could possibly be alive somewhere, man. Like, do you know how special that is? A drug hits different, bro. <laughs> Another slapper of an episode, dude. Maybe it's just his arc. Like, you just... This adaptation is slapping so far. I'm like Sanji. <laughs> that man is so stupid, bro. Oh, I did. He just, he just cut it. You know, he just cut his head. Chopper's looking at it from a logical standpoint. Like, yo, I'm a doctor. How is that possible? Poor guy. He's just trying to have an epic entrance here. Luffy's asking the right questions. <laughs> you better believe it, man. Can you imagine somebody telling you the apple? The apple on his head is an antenna. That's still such a cool idea. Like punk records being the, uh, like the hard drive with all the storage on it.
ex pato. My boy Shaka. Loving the cards that they're each getting. Love that description. <laughs> this is a remix of an OST that we're familiar with. Who's drawing? Loving the commitment to this, uh, to this type of aesthetic that we've gotten several times in the, in the arc so far. that in Vegapunk's head that most certainly is a factual statement and here comes the lightsaber oh the mace windu saber didn't realize that I forgot about this. <laughs> Poor Bonnie. <laughs> Man, it is stag beetles.
Oh, so cool. Such a cool way of putting it. The guardian of Buono. <laughs> he immediately considered himself a failure. That's a perfectionist at uh, the full display. Exactly. To have attacked the secret money jewel 200 years ago. Are we actually gonna, are we gonna see it? Oof. Cuckoo! Doing this to me, bro. You gotta stop it, man. Hold on. Oh. I wanna watch another episode, bro. I do, man. I do. Listen. Once again, the 1066 portion of this episode, excuse me, was handled exceptionally well. Exceptionally well. They did such a great job continuing to build on that emotion uh while also just god the usage of sound and having the wind there present only bringing in music when they need it that was like wow dude the direction here is stellar uh, but then you get into the second half of the episode uh that has some really really awesome comedic bits I had to let it play this time. I probably have to watch another episode, dude. I have to, bro. I have to. This is from the volume trailer, right? I gotta watch the next episode, bro. I'm getting distracted. I gotta watch the next episode. I think it was going crazy. Alright, let's go. 1098. Had to get another one in, man. I had to. 3, 2, 1. Let's jam. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Listen, man. The withdrawals are already going crazy with no manga. Now I'm getting all this greatness in the anime, dude. It's like, yo, keep injecting it, man. Keep injecting it. Let's see how they go with this. I still can't get over how amazing this opening is, by the way. It's such a uh, such a great representation of this arc. How fun it is, how colorful it is, how mysterious it can be, uh, but just how epic it can be as well. It just captures all of the different emotions of the arc so well. But man, strong, strong episode so far. <sighs>
Surprise with a recap theme. It fits. Dragon. Boy, Haj Routine. It's like, what a, what a great scene, man. Seriously. You did a great job with this stuff here, too. I want to know what they do with the giant, man. The Iron Giant. Love the title card and love the title. Centric dream of a genius. That's such an insane... Oh, Luffy just immediately accepts it. Except he just wants proof. He just wants to see it. Like, yeah, could you please show me the laser beams? That's such a great transition. actually seeing it. Holy flagnards. Oh, this is the panel. Dude, oh man. <laughs> but it's like, why choose that time? 
Why specifically strike? At that time. So yeah, just fix it. Come on. He's like, I, I, I just want to operate the robot, dude. Poor Bonnie. The insects. senile and it's like that's what I'm saying Makes sense, honestly. Just looking at the design. Power source. Some power in the past defies the common knowledge of the world today. And they can't replicate it. Nami. Oh, he's like, look at his head. <sighs> Me too. Too, man. Robert and the squad. Mm. Cuckoo. 
Go. Yeah, that'll immediately cause some sort of alert within the crew. Like, they remember just how formidable he was back in Eddie's lobby. Didn't he quit? <laughs> I, I love how Frankie's like, yo, just let me box him, dude. And Sanji's like, yo, no worries. I got you. I got you. They ain't taking you again. <laughs> so good. Oh, God.
transition. I need some of that right now, big punk. My brain to unlock and just create a bunch of new ideas. Oh, that's such a cool visual. Straight up reenactment of the Bugenhagen scene. man uh, I'm gonna have to watch the next two tomorrow bro I have to in some way shape or form whether it be at this time again tomorrow or in the middle of the day I need to watch it bro we're almost caught up to the egghead greatness it's definitely the weakest episode um, out of the ones that I watched but it was still entertaining um, they, they're still doing a great job adapting a lot of this material um, but man, Egghead, bro, just continues to deliver, dude, in the anime and the manga. I have no idea how bad I needed this, dude. I was going through severe One Piece withdrawals. Severe, man. Like, I needed this. I need to watch the dub, uh, 1070 stretch. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm considering just buying that entire thing and, um, and watching it that way. I might just wait for Crunchyroll. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. Cause I really, I want to watch the entire stretch from 1062 to 1073 that, that they just recently put out. 
um, I want to watch that entire stretch in English. Also, now it's, it, it, it's consistent. See, this caught me off guard last episode. So now they're sticking with Lilith and Edison to deliver this rather than Robin and Chopper. Ivan Gov. Greatness. Hold on, man. Yeah, this will be it. I have no choice. I have no choice. But man. I've just rewatched a lot of these episodes um, last year. They still hold up, man. Fantastic, fantastic episodes. You know, for the longest, when it came to Impel Down at least, uh, I preferred it so heavily in the manga that I was with the anime adaptation and said, uh, you know, it's all right. Um, I didn't really, I didn't hate it. But I, I was like, yeah, I prefer the manga 10 times over. Over the years, I've really come to appreciate Impel Down, specifically Impel Down, and its anime adaptation. I think it's a great anime adaptation. I really do. I think they handle a lot of the great moments really well. Uh, and they just handle the overall vibe and the comedy, especially, of Impel Down so well. Um, and plus, I, I've come to really love Kazewo Saga Shite. I think it's such a great opening. Let's see. Shout out to Impel Down. But that'll be it next time when we come back. It'll be time for 1099 and 1100. Cannot wait uh, to watch both of those episodes. But until then, I will see y'all. Man, oh man. Egghead continues to cook, dude. I'm telling you. We are back with episode 1099. I can't wait. My plan is I have around 30 minutes right now. I'm going to watch 1099. Then when I get back, it will be time for 1100. And I mean, based on, it's going to be like a two and a half hour video. So I might be able to get this out tonight. We'll see what happens. It depends on whenever I get back and we get everything situated. Yeah, so let's see. Let's just get right into it and I'll figure that out later. Because I want to continue, man. Egghead. Let's go. Three, two, one. Let's jam. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, man, excuse me. Let's fucking go, baby. I made sure today, man. I was like, dude, I am going to. Woo, that was close. <clears throat> Almost went on a sneezing spree. But we're good, we're good. For now, for now. But yeah, last night, man, there was so much greatness. And I, I, just, I, I just wanted to keep going, but I had to wake up early today. Yeah, so if, if that wouldn't have, have had to happen, though, I would have been here, like, the entire night until we would have caught up to the anime. It was only going to be two more episodes. Um, but I, I really needed uh, to, to get up in a few hours. So I was like, you know what, man? And, and based on the content that's incoming, I probably would have been so excited I never would have gone to sleep. It would have turned into a chapter release night, right? And I was like, no, 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 no. I need... I need to get as much rest as possible right now. <laughs> okay, whenever, whenever we get back to the manga, then that will. Um, that I'll, I'm already used to sleepless nights there. So, but for the anime, I was like, man, let me, let me catch up on rest. You know what I mean? Uh, so, very, very excited. I'm. Like I said, I think it's gonna be 1099, and then when I get back, it'll be 1100. We'll see. We'll see. But I can't wait. I can't wait, regardless. Dun, 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 dun. Man, the iron giant, dude! Like, come on! I, I really like they showed all of this.
CP Zulu. Look at Robert, man. I want to level as a kid. Or am I tripping? Look at that, bro. That looks like kid to me. He even has the hair. Look at him. You can't tell me that doesn't look like kid. It looks like either kid or Nanaki. Red 13 from uh, Final Fantasy 7. It's <laughs> one of the two. One of the two. It's like a combination of the two, actually. Luchi strikes. I heard a crazy thing the other day that apparently, uh, I don't know if it, I don't know if it, was it this one or eleven hundred. Uh, one of the two aired uh, exactly how many years after? Eighteen years. Eighteen years after the original um, uh, release of of the boys boxing, which to me is kind of crazy. I don't know how you reach that kind of coincidence, man. That's that's actually wild, right? Uh, but it happened. It happened. It's um, it's just one of those things that when it happens, you're like, it, it was it was in the cards, you know what I mean? It was like, black nards. It's crazy. Crazy. Like sometimes you have planned stuff like that, but that just feels like a very strange and insane coincidence. <laughs> it really does. Es super. kind of crazy that that an ability like that can be utilized by someone who is not the actual individual it's like it's such a crazy ability and to actually be able to utilize it at will like this and give it to something else who's not the original it's like that's wild omen of a major historical event. Cock. <laughs> Like, I love when we get that from the series. It just shows that the monumental events that have taken place up until this point.
I love the colors in this episode. It has like this mix of being dark and it's like a darkened light. It just, it, I just, I love the way it looks. It reminds me of like a classic Toei um, type of, of lighting that they would utilize on like early Dragon Ball, Sailor Moon, and um, and Messenger. It just, it looks really cool. Let me see him. Oh man. Dude, he just looks so cool, dude. S flipping hawk, man. Three. S snake. It's like how how does this even work, dude? You got my boy. It's like, bro. Then just look at them together. It's like you understand why they were able to so easily abolish the the warlord system when you have these individuals under you. It's like, it's insane. With Luffy, it's always a good reason. It's always a good reason. I would have been shook too. It's like, man, the man was just talking and he vanished into thin air. Mm, that's a classic soundtrack. What I love about CP0 being here is like when we saw them in, in uh, during Onigashima, we're like, yo, I wonder if they're gonna play some type of role uh, within that arc and obviously they did um but having them be prevalent once again here it's it's like That's how it feels playing FF7 hard mode. Or I should say, no, hard mode is awesome. The brutal challenges, that's what that feels like. There's a Tempest kick going through a hologram. That's a wild, wild sound effect to have there. The tactical nuke soundtrack from Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> Yo! Not the Modern Warfare 2 nuke soundtrack, bro. Who went on a 25 kill streak? <laughs> Just have to love the reasoning behind these characters.
Butobo Shiaru. Time I hear that, I always think of Luffy. Boo to bus. Cuckoo! Uh oh. Yo. <laughs> Yo, man. That was epic. How many times I've rewatched those episodes, bro? Rokugan. Now it really is the Tactical Nuke soundtrack. Tactical Nuke is coming! <laughs> and in the midst of this, Luffy's just having the time of his life. Oh snap. I love how like Chopper, Usopp, and Nami are reacting to Luchi.
but he can't help it. It's eternal hands, bro. The king. I'm sorry. We're not watching the ending today. We're going right to the next episode, man. Screw what I gotta do. Hold up, bro. Hold up. Yo, man. I put on the Jordan jersey. Screw it, dude. Screw it, man. Screw it, bro. Let's go. It's time. I have been waiting to watch this episode since Saturday, bro. Let's get right into it. Three, two, one. Let's jam. One, two, three, four, five. Let's flip it go, dude. Yo, man. Like I said, I, I, I don't skip openings or endings, but sometimes to get another episode and it needs to happen. And I would skip the opening if I could. I, I really would, but it interrupts with the timer. Let's go, man. What time is it, bro? I forget, man. I want to watch this greatness. Dude. The way they ended the episode was so, so good, man. It's like, yo, you could cut the tension with a butter knife, man. It was nuts. I was, and I know what's incoming. I was just sitting there, like, holding my breath because you know how much someone that feeds Luffy means to him. And you know what he's going to do to someone who hurts an individual who's fed him. It's like, yo... You dare do this? Who did this? Step up. Arlong style. Like, yo, which one's Arlong? Which one is the one that hurt Atlas? And when he locked eyes on Robert D. I'm ready, man. I'm so ready, dude. Here we go. We're, we're raising the volume for this. Oh no, recap. Powers on a different level. Luffy versus Luffy. Navy headquarters? A Sakazuki sighting? Oh man. Oh my, and it's an angry Sakazuki. And angry Sakazuki leads to peak fiction. That's all I know. That is all I know. The cigar. <laughs> Yo, those poor things get wrecked, man. They real deal get destroyed every time a kind was on screen. It's either in his hand or inside of the ashtray. Those things always get destroyed. They're like his stress ball. Where is Kizaru? <laughs> He's already on his way to heck. Look at my boy. 
<laughs> Look at him. Oh, man, yo, forget it, dude, forget it. Egghead Island. Don't let him fight Straw Hat. He's just sitting there in the pose. Dude, look at the, look at the, look, look at the lighting. To the king. <laughs> yeah, look at the standoff, dude. Yo, that's the, he's, he's the greatest of all time, man. Like, look at him, bro. Look at the R. Look at the conqueror's hockey. Man, Luchi's just sitting there like, come on, man. This is a real shonen, dude. They haven't even thrown hands yet. No hands yet. <laughs> Cuckoo! On, man dude look at how fluid this looks is it they're they're just boxing straight boxing <laughs> Let's go, man! All the way back then. Ba, 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 ba. The Gatling versus the, the, the finger pistols. Mm. Oh, I love the way the anime's handling this. The gears! <laughs> What's that on your wanted poster? Not the exhale. The drums. Oh no, bro, stop. <laughs> They're actually gonna show it. He's not just gonna pop him in it. Like in the manga. It shows the <laughs> The Wolf Piece anime is unrivaled. It's unrivaled, man. Look at this! They're giving us the transformation! The actual transformation! Oh no. Forget it, man. Forget it. Forget it. Dude, look at the conqueror's hockey. Is your goat doing that? He's destroying the screen! I love Gear 5, man. Luigi's getting excited. Oh, man. Dude, this is so cool, dude. Look at the way he looks. Look at the way he looks. Oh my, that 
That was a Red Rock level punch. He popped up right in front of him with the face of a sicko. Luchi, was, Luchi saw the fear of death in his eyes. Did you see him? They can't... Oh. Yo, it's like I had the deal. That's the movie who whooped Kaido. That's facts. Um... Don't tell me they're gonna show his too. Oh, this is just real showing it. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Looks incredible in the anime. No. It robs the user of their personality. Dude, look at this. This looks insane! This man Luffy got cross-eyed trying to follow Luchi. You can't make this up. Oh, thank God there's a break. Bro, this man hit him with the palmer. <laughs> Turned around and started mocking him. <laughs> this is incredible. Encyclopedia. That's so cool. The soundtrack of like, oh, it is. <laughs> Look at how beautiful. Jeez, that's what I say every day. That's what I say every day, bro. Being in the old books. Oh man, dude, this is, this is me. <laughs> and he's an idiot. <laughs> Robin. Who plays the fool and makes people smile. Nika. Already off to the best first half of any episode in this arc, and that's all bias. All Gear 5 tax. But I can't help it. I can't help it. Where Gear 5 is, that's where I yell peak. Where there's peak fiction, Gear 5 is there. It's never failed me, never will fail me. Greatest ever. P. 
people's as this man lifted his head and he's, he's mocking. Can you imagine fighting someone and he's just like, Wah! He's so stupid, bro. Ooh, they brought that panel to life. Their dreams. Wow. This chapter isn't even close. This chapter is phenomenal in the anime. Are you kidding me? They're just having fun, Sentomaru. You gotta let them have fun, man. Dude. The boxing, the Conqueror's Clad, oh. It's like the same exact thing they did in the original fight. Like, come on, bro. Come on, man. There they are. There they are. Man, Egghead Island, dude. such a fascinating way of putting it we have the worst hand it's like obviously they're in control of these individuals That goes crazy. That also goes crazy. That also goes crazy. <sighs> They're just giving us posters. Dude, Luchi, Luchi looks insane. <laughs> I love Gear 5, man. Just look at this. Wind it up, baby.
Okay, Loki! <laughs> he used the palm tree. <laughs> Sent that brother flying. Can always rely on the king. Oh man. Whew. Oh wow. What did I just watch, dude? <laughs> they added so many cool sequences to the fight. But then they proceeded to even handle when Luchi strikes Sentomaru with insanely detailed animation. That, that, that reminded me of, of um, the Yamato, Luffy, and Kaido scene. Uh, same one who did the Sanji and the Frankie scene early in, early in the arc. Ota. Ota. Uh, very, very reminiscent of that. And, and I apologize if that's not the individual who did that scene. Uh, but very reminiscent of that kind of, 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 of style. It's, it's very unique, right? And that's what it reminded me of. Wow. And I, I would have expected them to utilize that uh, type of animation for the fight itself. They saved that for the Sentomaru Luchi bit. That, that's, that actually surprises me. And what an incredible uh, section that was. But man... The boxing before he went gear five, and then he went gear five, and it just turned up. That first bunch, and then the, the hands that followed, it was beautiful. The trans actually showing the transformation with Drums of Liberation playing. Come on, man. Come on, dude. This man transformed and started destroying the island. Sentomaru. Oh, snap, what time is it? Ladies and gentlemen, I have to get going. Peak episode. Peak, 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 peak episode. Without question, up there with the best of the Gear 5 episodes so far. Um, right there with like 1074 and 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 the really, really good ones for uh for greatness. I really enjoyed it. Uh, especially the, uh, showcasing those anime original sequences is always where it shines and i think they just did such a great job with that and then they really surprised me with the tomorrow scene as well uh, being as detailed as it was but man i will see y'all take care g5 always brings peak it's just the way it works in the anime and in the manga so i will see y'all take care let's go man <laughs>